Hey guys, it's Junie. And long story short, the other day I was at the dollar store and I came across some cheap science kits. So I began to wonder what kind of cheap science monstrosities did Amazon have? And I found some. I found a lot. So then I thought to myself, add to cart. But then I realized they had a buy now option. Oh my gosh. And then I forgot about the entire exchange until this very moment. Hey guys, it's Junie and welcome to the Juniversity. <laughs> I bought a science kit. So since I filmed that introduction, I actually went to sleep, woke up, forgot about it, and then a couple days later, this came in the mail. So I guess that I committed myself to doing this video whether I liked it or not. Thanks, Junie. <laughs> Here we have the Kids Lab Science Kitchen Kit. And today I'm gonna be taking you on the adventure of seeing if this kit was worth the what, like three, four, no! The Kids Lab Science Kit comes with a variety of scientific experiments that any sports fan will love! <laughs> Starting with fruit battery. I mean, we have real batteries, but okay. Just tell them what's in the kit. The Kids Lab Science Kit contains six distinct scientific abominations. I mean experiments. A tabletop volcano, rock candy, a kitchen detective fingerprint dusting kit, invisible ink, rockets, and a fruit battery. So in short, you get to be Bill Nye, James Bond, and Willy Wonka, all for the low, low price of $7.99. You know, I was actually really excited to do the unboxing. Why was that? I mean, because we finally get to see where our tax dollars are going. So here we have the contents of our scientific mystery box. And some things that I'm noticing, you know, maybe I'm judging this a little bit too soon, but all this is looking a little bit $8. So here we have our volcano, which is like, you know, it's a baking soda, it's the vinegar, it's the science fair. And honestly, if this doesn't work out, I'm not that disappointed because I can just turn this into a pimp cup. And then we move on to our rocket. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the rocket. And you know what? If this doesn't work out, that's fine. Cause I can just use- Cause I can just use- So let's get started. Junie, you have to get the kitchen item. No! Dishwashing liquid, lemon juice, this baking soda from 2013, cornstarch, red food dye, vinegar, paper towels. Not because they asked for them, just because I know that this entire process is gonna be disgusting. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna be doing is the fingerprint analysis, which honestly, I'm doing this one first because it just, it's boring. So the first step is to put your finger on this development patent. Ooh. Hey guys, it's Junie Gray Kitchen Science, and I was in the middle of doing the fingerprint science lab thing, and just, I realized that I don't care about any of this. I mean, isn't this like a safety hazard anyway? Like, shouldn't I not be showing my fingerprints online? So basically, I decided to stop doing it. And you know what? This isn't just like me being lazy, just not wanting to do it. Like, there were actual reasons that I couldn't continue. I accidentally cut everything in half. I mean, and just like, it slipped. The scissors, I just had the scissors in my hand and then they just slipped. I can't even, I can't even do it anymore. Wait a second. Oh my gosh! Wait a second, it's like the cornstarch clings to the fingerprint. What? No, it's like it's, it's not staying anyplace else except for the actual fingerprint itself. Wait a second, this is actually, wait. Needless to say, I had a change of heart. Oh my gosh. You know, I think sometimes you just have to wait to make judgments. It's like, I just, so basically. Go to the next thing. So now it's time for the next secret agent experiment. And if I thought I didn't care about the first one, I really do not care about this one. The Kitchen Sign Secret Ink Kit allows you to send and code secret messages completely undetected. All you have to do is mix together baking soda and water. And decode using a combination of lemon juice and food dye. Boom. And just to be clear, I'm not blurring this out because I wrote a bad word. I'm just blurring it out because I wrote a word that I personally hate. And before you say I'm just being a hater, that's not even true. The recipe in the book was actually messed up. There was so much baking soda in the water, it couldn't even properly mix. The water was saturated. There was so much baking soda, it was caked onto the paper and you could see it without the special reveal formula. I digress. Two out of 10. Now on to the next experiment. Rocket. <laughs> okay. Okay, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Oh, uh, Houston, we've had a problem. We've had a main beam on Thunderbolt. Roger, main beam Thunderbolt. Okay, stand by 13, we're looking at it. Oh! So then I began to wonder if this was possible with two milliliters of vinegar, what would happen if I put in like 10? I don't know what to 
to say, like, I guess that the door just doesn't, you know, open in that direction. So next we're gonna be doing the clock thing. And honestly, it seems like it's a pretty straightforward experiment. It is. I did it. I mean, like, I don't think I can mess this one up. I mean, you literally can't. I even used lemon juice instead of actual lemons. I don't get it. Are you mad at the lemon clock? No, I'm not. It's just that there's no discovery. You see the lemon clock on the box, you set it up, and it works just like on the box. So you aren't just trying to speed through so you can get to the- Candy! Volcano. Ah! Hello friends, and welcome to Junie's Candy Factory. Are you excited? Today we're gonna be making candy in the candy factory, oh my god. <laughs> so today we're gonna be following these easy steps to make rock candy. The first step is to prepare your skewer by soaking it in hot water and coating it in a thin layer of sugar. But be careful, hot water's involved. <laughs> I went to college. Now you must wait for it to dry. And to be safe, we recommend a minimum of six hours. Don't fall asleep now. In a glass cup, combine hot water with two cups of sugar. You must let the solution sit for an additional six hours. Finally, place the skewer in the glass jar so it's not touching the bottom or the sides. You should see the sugar crystals forming on the skewer after about a day. Finally, you can remove the candy and enjoy. Perhaps the most disappointing thing about this entire experience is just knowing that I was the piece in the equation that got the equation wrong. Ugh, just go to the ratings. And now, the rating for the kitchen science kit is... $8. And in case you want to experience $8 science for yourself, I included the link in the description. No, this video is not even remotely sponsored. I just thought you might be wondering what all the hype is about. And before I go, I'd also like to thank my patrons. You know, patrons, sometimes it may feel like we're at the bottom of a hill. But you have to remember, hills are just nature, and they can't hurt us if we stick together. Thanks for sticking with me, patrons. <laughs> Ba-da-boo-da-doo. Ba-da-boo-da-doo.